Hey everybody, it's Amy Graham, the Badass Valkyrie, and I just wanted to give you kind of an update from January 1st to now, which is February 18th. And this is Planner Prime, and it is in my Falcon Travelers uh, Serenity uh, cover. It's a, por it's a folio cover. It does not have uh, strings. So, I have my Hobonichi Cousin of Vec on the right side, and that's my January through June. And over here, I have my Sumkin Weekly Planner. This is volume one. This is January through June. And then I also have my Sumkin 2022 uh, yearly or monthly calendar, and it goes through 20, June 2023. And this is where I keep all of my like long-term planning and if I have events or things like that coming up that's what I put in there. This is what I call Planner Prime and this sits on my desk open every day whether I'm at home like I am right now or at work uh, in the office and I use this for my overall planning of everything. And so I figured I would go ahead and go through this with you and just kind of show you how the year has been going. Uh, just a little sneak preview. <laughs> it has not been going great. I mean, the year itself has been going great, but trying to get back into my planner frame of mind has <clears throat> had some ups and downs. And... Uh, you know, I had all of these grandiose plans at the beginning of January, and honestly, the one that has gone the best is my health health and wellness planner, which is the Hobonichi Weeks, <clears throat> and I've done a, a review of that so far, but um, my other two weeks, my commonplace book and my memory keeping hit and miss, to be honest, I have not even gotten into my five-year Hobonichi for 2022 at all, at all. And this is the one that I will go back and take notes from my Hobonichi and try to rebuild that a little bit just because I'm like, it is weighing on my mind <laughs> that I've not gotten into this at all. But I wanted to be transparent with you because I know a lot of you are still struggling trying to get into your planners every day. Even though life has kind of evened out for a lot of the United States, um, it doesn't necessarily mean that your personal life or planner life is that way. And uh, this is the first year, the first year that I've been okay with taking the first quarter and just being like, okay, what's whatever's going to work is going to work. And I'm going to try to make it stick. And if it doesn't, it doesn't. But I'm not holding my feet to the fire during, you know, January through March. And I am much less stressed for that. But you'll see how going through, there's kind of been ebbs and flows throughout the entire month or two months. Um since we're, you know, halfway through February. But I just kind of wanted to give that preface, but um, you'll see different stickers and stuff throughout uh, both planners, and those are usually things that I pick up during the time frame of the book. And so I'm just gonna start from the beginning. Um, <laughs> first off, I haven't even moved that since January. So there is that. Um, so this is the monthly view and I write down appointments and things like that. Uh, I will be honest, this, the revision of the Sumkin weekly planner is not working as well as when it was all in one book and it had like the times and stuff here. I'm just not liking it as much. And I think that is part of the reason I am not reaching to get back into this every day. 
And that is something that, you know, I am sad about because I really loved the Zoom Kim Planner last year and I'm still using it this year, but it's not as effective for me. And it was just little tiny changes that made it to where I was not reaching for it every day. But anyway, this is this is February. This was January. And so they have all of the months up front for the first six months. And then you jump into the weekly. And as most of you know who follow me, I don't jump into my planners until January 1st unless there are special circumstances, which there were with this. But this is how December wor or January went. And this is how I use the Zoomkin Planner. I put, I treat this other, this page here like a bullet journal. And then over here is where I would occasionally, I would write down like when I went to bed, when I woke up, any personal appointments or things that I wanted to put in here. And I would write them across this way. And it just kept me like a, a timeline for me. I am not doing that because there is no times listed. I had thought about finding some uh, really thin washi tape that had like a time frame here, but I haven't found any and I'm just not really using this as much other than for specific notes. So on the right side, I have, you know, the, these topics change and the positioning sometimes changes other than my to-do list is always up here. My order placed and my orders received are down here. Other things, depending on the week, change. But this was the first week of January. Uh, the second week. Third week. Fourth week. And you'll see this one's off a little bit because I go by the weeks as in that are in the Hobonichi. My first week of 2021, or 2022, didn't start until February or January 3rd. That was week one for me uh, because that's the first full week in 2022. Anyway, so this is week four. Then this is February here. I started trying to write down all of my Oculus. Um, I started the subscription to the Oculus, which is the VR headset, the Oculus Quest 2. And I have done that every day since January 31st. And I was writing these down, but then I actually started tracking it in my phone. And it's much easier that way. But again, um, date night, to-do list, Finding 52. I am still doing Finding 52 for me. Uh, I have not put out any videos uh, in 2022 just because I have been so focused on recovery. And so I'm hoping that starting in March, I may, but I don't know yet. I, again, I'm having trouble fitting everything the way I want it to fit. And that's one of the things that I'm having a hard time with. And I don't know, you know, if it's mental or physical or a combination of both, or if I'm just extremely burned out right now, I don't know. But I'm staying open to, to starting that again. Um, I don't know what that would look like. Again, I've had various different thoughts about it and then something changes or I just lose interest or I don't know. It's, there's a lot going on. And, you know, before it was like, oh, it's all the pandemic and blah, 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 blah. But that's really not the excuse right now. I don't, I don't know what it is that's keeping me out of my planner right now, but I'm trying to go with it and trying to work through it. So welcome to the ride. <laughs> so this was the beginning of February and this was week five and this is the week we're on right now. Today is Friday the 18th. And so I've been writing in specific, you know, little things here and there. Um, my light therapy, which I do for my concussion, for my uh, traumatic brain injuries. But, um, you know, I, I try to keep this updated. So we will see how far that goes. 
in the uh, monthly that this does not have any uh, page, any weekly pages like you just saw. This one is strictly monthly and it does have some blank pages in the back. This was January. This is February. And um, then in the back, I had, uh, I've done a January two page spread. This is supposed to be February. Notice, you know, not a lot done here at all. But I will probably figure out uh, what I wanted and put that in there. I didn't even finish my 13 good things, which is kind of depressing to me, but I will get through this. So that's where that is. Um, I am much more focused in my Hobonichi and this is, I use the bullet journal method in my Hobonichi Cousin of Eck, and this is my future log. And so I'll put birthdays up here. I will put events and appointments here when I need them. And that way I kind of know what's going on in the future. And then this has July to December, which is not in this book, but they do give you that. So that helps me future plan. Then this was December and nothing was in there. Here is where I do, um, in a traditional bullet journal, you would list one through 31 or one through 30, and you would put like one line a day of what happened. And that's what goes here. As you can see, I missed a couple of days in January, missed quite a few days in February, but I'm starting to get back on track. And so, I will, you know, I, I typically do not go back and backfill unless, you know, it's something like the five year and I can pull out some things to write down in that very small space. I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> oh, I'm just trying to get through this. And so then you have the rest of your monthly through June and then you start the weeklies. And this is that first you, you could start it December 27th. Again, I don't start until the 1st of January. I did put a little bit of, uh, of the 31st in there just because I could. But over here is where I do my um, weekly to-do list for this and if I check it off or not. But this is how my weekly goes. And down here, I will usually write down gratitude. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. That is hit and miss, and it has been. Um, up here is where I put what time I wake up, and usually I'll try to put the times that I put go to bed, which in, in previous years I have put at the end and at the top here, but it just did make sense for me because it didn't have the times on there. So I've gone back to putting them into my, Ho my Hobonichi Weekly View. And again, this is still January. Again, hit and miss. I try to put what I've done for myself for finding 52 for the week here. Um, I do note any kind of full moon or qu first quarter, third quarter, or new moon if I have days off. <clears throat> because I also include my work week or my work appointments in this as well. So that I always have that. And I know... You know, was I working from home? Was I working in the office? <clears throat> Excuse me. And when I ended work and try to, to do as much of a schedule as I can. And then here we get into January or February. Goodness, I can't even talk today. And so I put my regular appointments, anything like that in this because this is what my week looks like. And this is where I go to find out about my week. And so I usually put my Oculus time in there. And sometimes I'm really good about putting in the weekend. Sometimes my weekend barely gets touched. But uh, this is what this week looks like right now. And I, again, kind of hit and miss. But it is what it is. And I am trying my best 
and this is not nearly as full as what even last year was, but you know, I, I'm doing the best that I can. So going to, from the weeklies, then we go into January 1st, and this is where um, I'm trying to write some of my, uh, like my meals and such, my to-dos for the day, and then my journaling for the day here. And then I'll try to put, if I remember, the weather down at the bottom. And most days I get a little bit of something. Um, this was my packing list for when I went to Seattle. Um, and then I was actually out. I did not take my planner with me to Seattle. Um, the last time I was in Seattle, uh, my purse got stolen and my iPad, my planner, everything got taken. And so I'm like, yeah, I'm not going to risk that again. Um, but it's kind of hit and miss and that's okay. I am not someone that if I have a blank day, will be like, oh my God, I have to go back in and put something. If that's all I got, this tells me that day was extremely hectic and I leave it. I, some people feel bad when they have blank days or haven't used a few pages in a, in a row. I am not one of those people. I'm like, I've already paid for the book. If it's blank or not, then, you know, so be it. Uh, if something big happened that day, or, you know, if this is all I got, then I can pretty much tell you these days were pretty busy for me. I may not know what I did. I may have it listed somewhere else. I don't know. Um, but it's okay. It doesn't bother me. Um, again, just going through and seeing different things, how I've tried adding certain things um, and just you know, putting down what I can and felt the need to, but you know, here's a weekend, didn't put anything in until Sunday, and this is the end of January. I tried to add in some uh, sticky notes from various Cocoa Daisy kits that I've had, and that looks cute, but then they started peeling up, so then I put like washi tape on it, but I don't know. It is what it is. Um, and then this was the beginning of February. And again, we have some things updated as much as I can. Then some days, nothing. And it kind of gives you a feeling of how I've ebbed and flowed in wanting to update everything. And I know this system works for me. This is just like blotter paper that I use. Um, when I use the uh, Uniball Signos, they t sometimes they'll get like little drops of ink and then it'll po post over onto the lighter page. And so I technically just have that as a blotter page if I'm not using my Shitajiki, which is the pencil board, but um, this is today. And I, this is all I've gotten in today. <laughs> and I'm already at lunch. So there you have it. But I will go in probably after work, um, sometime between um, five o'clock and when I go to bed and, and fill in the day. Um, unless, you know, something happens or I go through it and I have moments during the day that I can blot that down or jot that down, I will. But as I was saying, you can see that there's been some ebbs and flows. And in January and February and in even March, that's going to happen. And there have been years where I was spot on and didn't crash and burn until, you know, June. <laughs> But then I got so busy working outside and doing my workouts and training and all of that, that, you know, everything was already in there. But I go into all of that to say that if you have blank pages, it is okay. The planner police are not going to come after you. <laughs> and if you have blank pages and that bothers you, go back and put in a quote or something, you know, do something um, 
I have actually thought about not using the Sumkin and taking it out completely. And then on Mondays, doing this on my Monday page. But then I'm like, well, but then Monday doesn't really have a whole lot um, as far as what I could put in for the day. But it's kind of six and one half dozen or of the other. But what I will say is that this is a dated planner. And even though I'm not using it as much as I have in the past, although I will say this, this side of the page I am using as much as I did last year. It's this side that is not as productive for me. Um, I will probably keep it in here and use it because they're dated. And I don't want to, I don't have anything to replace it. And other like, other than like another, just like blank A5 notebook. But I might as well use that. It is a system that has been working for me. And so... The, the consistency throughout the past few years is that using the bullet journal method in my Hobonichi Cousin of Eck has worked phenomenally well. And I enjoy that. It gives me what I need. And even though you, if you look at this, on some days you may not have a whole lot. But between this page and my weekly, and what I write for that little blurb on a particular day, I can figure out what's happened. Because if something major has happened on a day, and even if it's not major, even if it's like, oh, we went to Costco, or we did that, it's enough that will jar my memory that I'm like, I can piece together my day. And so that all three of these components will help me go back in and fill out things for my five year. <clears throat> I just have to take time and do that. And I know that Monday is a holiday and I'm off work and I plan to be doing a lot of planner related things that I haven't had time for. But these three components make up my day. And I use them so much. But on days that I don't write a lot or anything at all, I, I, that's okay. You know, January 20th and 21st, we're just going to do an experiment. 20 and 21st, I, I have appointments and things that I did there. And January 20th. 20th and 21st, I, you know, I was extremely busy. That's all I can tell you. And if I never find out what I did on the 20th, other than film and do my spin bike, oh well. <laughs> it evidently wasn't a day that I felt like I needed to go and mark before I went to bed. But, you know, there's also days that I did write a lot and things that did pop up and things that I wanted to put in. So this is my life book and it shows the ebbs and flows of my life and I'm okay with that. If it's a great day, I'll probably write a lot unless it's such a great day I don't have time to do that. But there's no right or wrong. If things in your planner don't bother you to leave them blank, perfect. If they do bother you and you have to go back and do that and fill it in, so be it. Just don't let it become so big of a process that it hinders you from moving forward. Like I said, I have not gone in and done hardly anything in 2022 for my five year. And, okay, I did January 1st. Did I do any day after that? No, I did not. Huh. 
So I have one day in there. Woohoo! But am I letting this stress me out? No. If all else fails, I'll have hit and miss. I have hit and miss from 2021. I can guarantee you that. There, there are probably entire months that I didn't do anything. Let's just look. May. I don't think I did anything in May or June. But I'm not worried about it. I'm, I'm only worrying about January and February because we're not done with February and I have some time and I could go back and fill in bits and pieces that I, that I have. If I don't have anything, January 20th for the for a prime example. I can guarantee you January 20th is probably not going to get written down in here. But I will maybe put a quote. I don't know. I may just leave it open. Because what I can do is, you know, on say 2025, I had a huge day. And I didn't put anything for 2022 or 2021. I could write in and cross that out and put 2025. These are my books. There's no wrong way or right way to do it. You know, people are like, oh my gosh, I can't believe you're doing a bullet journal method in a Hobonichi. That's what I do. I don't, I use stickers very, very rarely in my Hobonichi Kezanavec. There are people that sticker the hell out of their Hobonichis and they're like this thick. That's not my thing. I, I am primarily pen in here and that's all right. What I am proud of is that I have gone through and done this since December. And I have been fairly consistent in this because this is my recovery on paper. And this is what I will need to know for any questions my doctor has. And it is important to me. And when I need to go and do my second hip, repla hip replacement, this is going to be paramount to me to have this knowledge. What I had for lunch or, you know, what I did for exercise on February 8th, you know, when it's December 29th, probably not nearly as important. Would I like to have that in case some reason I need to go back for that? Maybe. But at this point, I could not tell you what I did for exercise or for anything other than if it's in here. But what I'm trying to say is no matter how well you have done or not so well you have done, that's awesome. Look at tomorrow as a new day. Look at starting next week as a new week. Look at, you know, whatever you want to do. If, if this was not working for me, I would not be here where I'm at right now doing a video for this. It works for me. The process works for me. The planner works for me. What's not working for me right now is my brain. And I think if I could get more consistent, it would help me get through that because I know that that has helped in the past. And so trying to get back to a place of consistency here gives my weird ass brain <laughs> a way of being consistent in other places. Um, part of the reason I did not decide, I decided not to get out of this is I already have it and I made the conscious decision to still go through with this particular set of books, even though things changed because one, I'd already purchased them. I spent a lot of money getting them across the ocean from Europe <laughs> and Paris specifically. And I love the paper. And so what? This side may not be nearly as productive as the previous year. Okay. This side is. So, will I go back in and, and do February in here? Yes. Yes, I will. Because that's important to me. Will I finish up January and do like a review? Probably not. Um... January will probably end up like this, although I might go in and put in my steps and my sleep. But I will do a spread for February because that part of it I do look at from the past <laughs> or from the, from the future. I go back and look at these. So especially when it comes to my quarterly review. But 
again, there are certain things that I will backfill and certain things that I don't even worry about. So that is how Planner Prime looks today, February 18th on a Friday, starting a long weekend for me. But isn't it pretty? I love it. I love it so much. It's been holding up really well, although it's basically just pretty much been on my desk. But um, I just wanted to hop on and say, wherever you're at, there you are. And it's okay. It's okay to be where you're at. Don't beat yourself up. It's been a hard two years. And we are just starting to come out of this. And give yourself some grace. And, you know, try to pick up what you can and move forward. Don't worry about January. Don't worry about February. Maybe start new March. Who knows? Do what you can with what you have right now because that's what I'm doing. So I hope you guys have a good uh, rest of your week and enjoy the weekend and find some fun because I have been lacking that recently. So that's what I'm going to be doing. And if you have any suggestions on how to get through this rough patch that I've been going through the first couple of months, even though my primary concern has been my recovery. And now that I'm kind of tapering off to that, now I'm like, okay, got to get back into this. Let me know because I need some help with that. But anyway, I hope you guys have a great day and I will talk to you soon. Bye.